What's going on guys? It's Steve and Susanna. Hi guys. Guess what time it is? What time? Time to go make a trip to Vineland. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's time to go make a trip to Vineland. We're fastly approaching the Thanksgiving holiday. I think we need to get into Vineland one time before Thanksgiving. Yep. Yeah. Now, of course, we've already been in Vineland and we're back at the house already, but you guys know how we're doing these videos now. We're doing our intros and our exits from the comfort of our home. I check this thing makes it a lot easier and it gives me more time to run my yap and talk a lot. Yeah, <laughs> don't talk a lot. <laughs> it's in my nature. I can't help it. It's what I do. Um, yeah, so anyway, we just got back from Vineland. It was awesome, right? Yeah, very good. Yeah, it was a good little, it was a good little run to Vineland. So I'm not gonna drag this out any longer. I want you guys to get over there and check it out and see what we just saw. Now, before we do that though, as always, if it's your first time seeing one of our videos, please do subscribe with all these changes and this and that coming January 1st. If you wanna help, subscribing is probably the best thing to do at this point, right? Yeah. And clicking the bell notification icon, yeah. making sure you're notified every time we upload new videos. So yeah, click the bell, turn those alerts on, subscribe. I don't know, the, there's, gonna, there's just gonna be a lot of YouTube changes, whether it's from us or from other creators and people that you like to watch, other fellow YouTubers out there. Uh, you may wanna subscribe to their channels if you haven't done it yet and click their bell notification icon. So there's a lot of changes coming to YouTube as we speak and very, very rapidly. So yeah, um, anything else I should mention before we jump to the video? No, I think in the end though. Yeah, well, we'll meet back here and chat after you guys check out the warehouse. So why don't you guys go check it out and we'll see you in a second. Enjoy. Enjoy. Here we go. Back to the warehouse. Yep. Hello, Christmas Donald and Goofy. Let's go inside a violent. Let's see what's going on. Look at the, look at Cinderella's castle. Snow White's castle all lit up. Here we go. All right, well, as soon as we come inside, we find something new. Check out the Han Solo Chewbacca figurine set. How cool is that? This is $74.99, regular price $150. 50% off, not bad. It's the new Han Solo, not the Harrison Ford Han Solo, but the other guy, I can't remember his name. Isn't that horrible? He didn't have that big of an impression on it, so I can't remember his name. It is limited edition though, 1400. It's not, not a huge number, so it's actually pretty good. More Star Wars merchandise. You know what, I saw one of these over at um, Character Warehouse I Drive. This is Enfys Nest from the Solar movie. This is $47.95, regular price $95. Interesting, kind of rare. I've never, I don't know how popular that was. So it's actually a rare piece. And then check this out. This is $62.99. Laser sculpture. It's a it's a stormtrooper laser sculpture. Okay, something different. You've got plenty of Darth Vader plushes, plenty of Chewbacca plushes, all the R2D2s they have 24.99. I don't see any BB-8s. I only see R2s. Yeah, R2s. More stormtroopers. Okay, very cool. All right, let's take a look at some of the diecast action figures they've got. The GNK Power Droid and the TC-14. Looks like C-3PO, but it's, it's a TC-14. These are all $12.99. I don't see any of the R2s. I was looking for an R2-D2. Maybe R2 is finished here. I don't see any. And then what do we got behind us? Behind us, we've got some Last Jedi vinyl mations. These are $6.99. All right, let's take a look at the pops. Nick Fury, a couple of Captain Marvels. These are all $7.99. It looks like that's pretty much it. Captain Marvel and a couple of Nick Fury. Oh, I did find the BB-8s. They do still have BB-8s. And look, they put a Mickey on that one. <laughs> yeah, they still got BB-8. They still have tons of Hocus Pocus Spears jerseys. All of the Sanderson sisters. Very cool. These are all $18.99. Look at the little youth bell swimsuits. How much are those? $14.99. I don't know what the regular price was on them. I don't see it. That's funny though. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh-huh, of course it's Disney. What's this one beside it? There's something else, Beauty and the Beast. Look at this little fleece hoodie. Is that fleece? No, it's this goes with this, I think. It's like a little cover. It's like a towel. Right? I'm thinking it's part of this like as a set. No? It's $12.99. 
So I'm thinking that it's part, it's from Disney Cruise Line. So I think they go together, right? Yeah, it's like a shawl or something that you drape over you so you don't like get super, uh, you know, cold or something when you're swimming. How cool is that? Here's a cool little New Jersey, look sports gray, little youth hoodie shirt. It's a jersey or a t-shirt? It's a t-shirt. How much is this one? Is it is it thick or thin? It's $9.99. $9.99. No, it's a t-shirt. That's a thin material. Kind of like a heavy cotton. $9.99 for that. Look, this is new. Life is better with a cupcake and a Mickey bar. $9.99. Disney Squad tees. What else might be new here? This is, I saw this over at iDrive. These are $19.99. I like the print on those. Very oh, cool. Like oh yeah, yeah, that's right. It's got that really unique material on the back. Very cool. I like this little spirit jersey too. Like, well, I don't know. I guess it's not a spirit jersey, but it kind of looks like it with the flip sequins. And this is the front, fourteen ninety nine. Still got these guys. These are the Mickey anniversary jerseys. Are holding strong. Part of the designer vinyl collection. These guys are fourteen ninety nine. Got some Edna plushes down below, still got plenty of those. Here's something new and rather unique. Operation Buzz Lightyear Edition, Toy Story Edition. And it's $9.99, really $24.99. That brings back memories of a childhood playing Operation. Oh, look what they brought too from Toy Story. They've got, um, what should we call it? Uh, Little Bo Peep's Action Staff. Remember these? I remember when they brought these into the into World of Disney. $9.99, very cool. What was the regular price? I forgot. $24.99? So they brought these in from $9.99 all the way down to $24.99. There it is. <laughs> you hear the sheep? <laughs> Here's something new and interesting. It's a jasmine serving tray. How cool is that? This is not glass, right? Yeah, it's plastic, like heavy plastic. You know what this would be perfect for? Like a tea set, like to serve tea or something like that, or like little desserts on. That's very unique, and I've never seen that before. I don't know where that came from. They've got the Aladdin tea sets. There you go. They kind of go hand in hand. Twenty-four ninety-nine. But they've got the Mickey light-up tumblers here. These were at iDrive, and I don't have a price. Here we go. Three ninety-nine. There they are on the end cap. Got a lot of those. Let's just take a look at some of the Disney artwork that's coming. Look at Fantasia Mickey. These are all fourteen ninety-nine. Is this maybe from Flower and Garden? I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's Flower and Garden. Let me know in the comments if that's something other than that. Look at this one, like a in interesting Picasso. Yeah, Picasso looking. How cool is that? $14.99, same, same. Any, uh-huh, there's a unique one. Wow, oh, that's cool. Long Day's End is called, $14.99. Here's a Mickey Mouse Club. Very cool. This one is just says Mickey Mouse Club on that one. What do we got here? Oh, I like this one. Look, look, look. He's, he's out of his hat. Magical Mickey is $14.99. And what is this one? Look, he's got his different hats. Oh boy, here it is, it says. Look, that's a unique one. Steamboat Willie, Fantasia, all the different hats. Look, it's Mickey Bedtime. What is this one called? Bedtime, I got that one right. <laughs> okay. This one is called Mickey and Stereo. So what is this one then? This is Millennial Mickey. I called this Flower and Garden, I was wrong. It's Millennial Mickey. Oh, with Donald and Daisy and Huey, Dewey and Louie. This is all alone at last. No, Donald, you're not all alone. <laughs> or Daisy, Donald and Daisy thought they were all alone. They're being spied on by Huey, Dewey and Louie. I get it. Mickey Stereo, we saw that one. This one is called Batters Up Mickey. Mickey getting ready to swing the Big Bambino himself. Nothing on that one. But, oh, that's that's an interesting one. <laughs> Colorful Mickey, it's called. I love all of these. So then this one, then what was, let me correctly identify it. Mickey Mouse 2018. Okay. What's around this corner? More art? Oh, we still got the rock and roller coaster. Picture frames, I love these picture frames. They're $7.99, got a couple of those left. What did you find here, Susanna? It's teacup rings. Those are $4.99. And then they have the Alice in Wonderland bangle bracelets. Those are, are there any left? Okay, well they would be there and probably they're gonna refill it, I'm thinking, if they haven't taken the bucket away yet. Okay, some of the grape soda lounge flies. Pink lounge fly, 
I like to show you guys the bags. It's a small world bags, $29.99. A lot of those pink lounge flies. Look at me, these, they've got a lot. Still got some figure crossbodies and some Rapunzel bags. Very cool. Check out the cool Animal Kingdom shirt. Can I see this one? Oh yeah, that's interesting. Next. Yeah, the print on there. There's Expedition Everest, Pan the Rock Mountains of Pandora. What else is, look, there's the, um, uh, the safari vehicle at the bottom. Tree of Life. What else is hidden on here? Am I, I think those are the ones I got. Yeah, yeah, and it's only $12.99. I like the price even more. Very cool. Still got Sanderson's sister shirts. Those are $9.99. Uh, I'll just kind of just, let's just walk down here and take a look at the different shirts. Alaska Cruise shirts, these are $16.99. The Jasmine shirts, $14.99. Bell shirts, $14.99. We just saw this Millennial Mickey artwork. So now you can have the matching shirt, $17.99. Here's an interesting little, is that a racer? Yeah, I guess that's kind of like tank top slash racer bag. $9.99. Anything else new, honey, that's popping out at you? All the hats, $7.99, which I'll just kind of take a look at what they've got. Same ones, I don't see anything new hat-wise, right? Teacups, frequent flyer. They've still got these spirit jerseys, though. Yeah. These are how much, honey? Remind me, $24.99? Yeah, $24.99. Oh, enchanted tiki room shirts. Look, honey. $12.99, these are out of place. <laughs> All of these, this is out of place too. Yeah, this is new too. I don't know why they put this here. Is that an XL? It is an XL. Is it got a price? $9.99, I love the per color. It's like a very light violet purple. And then look how like the different little Mickeys are fading, the different colors of Mickey Mouse. Very cool. I really love the Tiki Room shirt. They don't have that in my size though, unfortunately. Let me see, is it? No, no, that's a man's medium. Look at the size large. These are men's, these are out of place. I'm going with these are men's shirts that are out of place. <laughs> Here's an interesting little hat that looks like it came from, well, it says Disney Parks, not exactly sure. But either way, it's a very cool summer hat. $9.99, does it give like the SPF? SPF 50, great little hat, very cool. Looks like they brought in a couple of more summer hats. Look at this one. $8.99, okay. Those are the wallets. They've got the teacup wallet, small world wallet. Any other ones new? What is this bag? Leader of the club, they've had that one for a while. The leader of the club totes. These are new. Look at these little tropical bags. These are, if that doesn't scream Florida, I don't know what does. That is Florida through and through. $15.99, what was the regular price? Yeah, I don't see it. The company that they're made by is called Mud Pie. What a nice like beach bag or something. Or great for Disney Cruise Line or just for around the pool. Oh, Dole Whip crossbodies, Mouseketeer wristlets, Mickey Mouse book bags. All right, let's take a look at all the assorted earrings, which are all $1.99. I see Mermaid, I see Belle, I see what, Jasmine, Tinkerbell. Is this one? This that's Ariel, mermaid. It doesn't identify this one. Is that Elsa? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe Elsa? I can't yeah. tell. That's a hard one. Is that Cinderella? I think so. It's hard a little to tell. Um, here, let me just let you guys look. Y'all can see all the different ones that they've got, though. Looks like that's all of them, pretty much. So these are all our $1.99. What a great little stocking stuffer, right? Fantastic stocking, stocking stuffer. Look, they've got more of the food. Uh, Epcot Food and Wine Festival, Mickey Mouses and Minnie Mouses. These are all $9.99. Now these are on out, actually not behind the register. These are on the sales floor, on the rack. And these are $29.99. It's the Mickey birthday watch, 90th anniversary. You know, that's kind of collectible at some point. Now obviously they've made thousands of these, but that's men's. I mean, it can be unisex, but it's more of a, it's a men's size. The tank and band is definitely men's size. All right, now one of the cool things that they've done here at the warehouse is they've added this really cool little jewelry display, which makes it a lot easier to see the jewelry versus how everything used to be behind the register. So how cool is this? Now that's the same watch that we just saw, which is actually on one of the rotating shelves, but they've also got this one too. Look at the black, that's a plastic tank, leather band, and that one's $19.99. This reminds me of like an old school, like, well, it reminds me of like an old school Swatch watch, like something we grew up with, and I don't see the price on that. I'm assuming it's very similar though. Here are the Alex and Anis, they've got the Tinkerbell, they've got the Mermaid. I'll just let y'all kind of see those. Here are the other bracelets, you can see these. 
Very cool. Just kind of let you see the prices. I guess it's sterling silver. Little bangle bracelets. The charms. They're $15.99, $35.99, $28.99. Look at the little peppermint one. Just in time for Christmas. Just keep on coming around. Let y'all see the jewelry. Everything's priced, so I guess you guys can read the prices. Look at the little rings. The little Pandora charms. And then here are more of the Alex and Anis. Very, very cool. Let's just take a look at all the Star Wars merchandise. There's so much Star Wars in the air nowadays. We've got Mandalorian going on. We've got the Rise of Skywalker coming. So they have the Star Wars trucker hats. I've showed you these before. These are $7.99, the more contemporary Star Wars hat. Check out this like little ladies top, $12.99. Very cool, the gold print on it. I love this one, hence I got it for $12.99. It's Dark or Empire in First Order of Resistance, whatever you want to call it today, $12.99. The Lucasfilm shirt is very cool. One day if they ever have this in my size, I'd love to get that one with that raised vinyl print on it, it's $12.99. Here's a fun little distress print Star Wars tank top. Those are $9.99. And look at it is. Hey, someone's got a good style. Check that out. They've got a couple of those down here too. And the pants. FYI on the pants. The pants are huge. I actually had to exchange mine tonight. So be aware of that the Star Wars pants are massively big. Go down a size on this. Here's some more hats. Look at the beast hats they got, honey. Very cool, they still got some Crocs. Here's a traditional, just old school Mickey Mouse tank top, $9.99. This beach one here, I like this one, sleeveless, $6.99. Here's another sleeveless, nice one, $6.99. I have that one, I haven't worn it, $6.99. Anything new, polos, golf shirts. Check out all the super cool Dole Whip hats. They still have these. Why are these not selling? You people love Dole Whip, but you don't want to buy the hats. These are $7.99. Dole Whip towels, too. You have yourself just one big giant Dole Whip party, right? Yep. Honey, when you have a Dole Whip party with me, we'll get a Dole Whip towel, Dole Whip hat, and you can have that Aloha Dole Whip hat. And a crossbody. We'll just have a big old Dole Whip party. You Sounds like fun. Party? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's behind that? Halloween. Dia de los Muertos. Here, $7.99, they've still got the jack-o'-lantern cups. They still have the Sanderson sister, Dooney and Burks for $1.39. Trick-or-treat bags, $6.99. Light up uh, trick-or-treat buckets, very cool. We've got the lanyards, the patch sets. Oh, what did you, I don't know, have we seen that? Is that a, like a towel? Kitchen towel, Mad Hatter, right? Okay, very cool, teacups, I like that, $9.99. I like this one actually for the patches. What a cool patch, $6.99. For next year's Halloween, they've still got these wall decorations. Very, very cool. They have one Halloween apron left. I think they keep restocking those at $7.99. The towel sets are $7.99 as well. Check out this cool little Nightmare Before Christmas set. What do you get here? It says, 20 five by seven inch note cards and envelopes, two of each design. Okay, that's interesting and it's cool. And it's $17.99. Slap bracelets are $1.99. The Halloween slap bracelets is $1.99. Now here's something that I was just informed by a cast member, which is amazingly awesome. And I'm just gonna say it right now. All of these super artistic shirts have been put down to $4.99. That's what I've been told. Now they're still marked at $9.99, but I was told that they're now $4.99. That's what they're ringing up in the register. At least the Scar one. So I'm assuming if Scar is ringing up at $4.99, they all are. So it's, if that's the deal, I mean, you gotta come get one of the, one of each, right? Yeah. I would get one of each. It's just an amazing deal. And they've got all the different sizes, essentially. It's awesome. What's down here? They've got the Captain Hook shirt, Space Mountain. Both of those are $9.99. Going out for a spin. Look at this cool little teacup shirt. What an interesting like material too. It's kind of a like interesting like ring spun cotton. It's $12.99. Look at this what up dog shirt with a distress print. That one's $9.99. More enchanted tiki room shirts. Do they have there's an XL right on top? Is it $12.99? Ooh, that's a cool shirt. So here's they've still got Jafar right beside it. They've got the salty shirt, plenty of genie Robin Williams hats. Genie shirts. 
It's still Halloween in the warehouse. They've still got a lot of youth size. Happy Halloween glow-in-the-dark shirts. Let's just see what else is mixed in this rack. Oh, I haven't seen this one. This is off of Disney Cruise Line. That's why. Very cool. $11.99 glow-in-the-dark. Here's a hoodie. Zip-up hoodie with the little bat wings in there. These are still holding $14.99. Here's a cool little Mickey Mouse glow-in-the-dark shirt as well. This one is how much, honey? Do you see the price, 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 price? It is $6.99. Oh, that's not bad for $6.99. Here's a cool little Nemo inflatable beach ball. $4.99 for that. Here's the beach shirt. I like this beach shirt so much. I'm not that hungry. Also me. And then the beast is just eating. <laughs> that one's great. How much is this one? $7.99? Oh yeah, the Illuminations, Glow in the Dark shirts, $5.99. This is a new one too, the Tigger one. Park hop till you drop. I don't know the price. Come on, don't hide the price. $9.99. Uh, look at this colorful Abu shirt, $6.99. This one's $9.99. They've got the Goofy Popcorn shirts, $9.99. They should have these in the boxes somewhere. Oh, right behind me, they've got those in the boxes. Check this out, a little cool Star Wars youth shirt with the Death Star, X-Wings, TIE Fighters, Millennium Falcons, Annette Walkers, Imperial Star Destroyers, and it's $9.99? Yep. Wow. I love these little Slinky Dog tees. The little Slinky Dog tees are so cool. How much are those? $9.99 for the little Slinky Dog tees. Same ones. This one we haven't seen yet, but I love it because it's bright orange and colorful. Squad goals. All right, Susanna has found something that iDrive has always been behind the register. However, here at Vineland, it's actually out here on the end cap. It is a Mary Poppins Returns like tea kettle, right? Yeah. Yeah. And how much is it, honey? $72.99. Regular price was $150. So basically, it's 50% um, off. Okay, very cool. What's over here? We got our incredible section. You always have to have your incredible Ednas, your Elastic Girls. I don't see Mr. Incredible. I have a feeling those are gonna fly off the shelves for Christmas though, because I think they make awesome gifts. Oh, the little lights, the little delish lights. Got plenty of delish lights. Those are seven, nineteen and ninety-nine. All right, now here are the assorted necklaces that match the earrings. They've got the Tinkerbell. Looks like that looks like Elsa. Yeah, this is Tiana. Jasmine, Mermaid, Ariel, Belle. I think that's Rapunzel and Cinderella, yeah. right? Am I missing any down here? Anyway, these are all $5.99. And I tell you what, like, these are gonna sell so fast on Black Friday, because, I mean, it's just, it's a perfect Christmas gift set, especially like a stocking stuffer, because you can get the necklace and then the matching earrings, and they're only $5.99. Let's take a look at the pins. These are all $6.99. They got the Dia de los Muertos pins. We've got this character. <laughs> all of those are all the same, all the way down. This one is Jafar. When you open it up, there he is. There's Jafar. Got plenty of Halloween lanyards too, $4.99. Oh yeah, there's a Maleficent. We haven't seen Maleficent yet. Very cool. Here's a, here's a terrifying transformation. It's Ursula. So it spins. We'll see, so I guess it turns. Yeah, I can't spin it, but you can see there's, yeah, um, that's Ursula, like, those are limited too, right? More Jafar, all of these are Jafar pins, tons. I see Captain Hook, there's Captain Hook, very, very cool. Looks like, is that Ursula there? Yeah, there's Ursula, okay. Those are all Ursula, Jafar, Captain Hook. They've got a ton of the orange bird earrings. These are all $4.99 for the orange bird earrings. Ton of them. Oh, let's see what kind of statues we've got. We've got a Pirates of the Caribbean one. And who would this little lady be? Live your, I don't know what character that is. Does it say what character that is? It's a seashell, is it Ariel? Disney princess, it just says Disney princess. This one's got me, I don't know. Uh, either way, I'm gonna show it to you guys. It's $29.99, and uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean, it says, it's called Pirates on a Cannon, is $32.99, very cool. Here's another set of those cards. This is very similar to like the Nightmare Before Christmas ones. I'm not gonna lie, it's not something I'm really familiar with, but you can read like what it comes with and so forth. It's shaped like a book, it looks very collectible, 90th anniversary, and those are the cards. Very cool. How much are these? Does it say $14.99? Regular price is $30 and 50% off. Okay. Those are all 50% as well, right? 
Mm-hmm. Here in the queue are some bangle bracelets. Allison Wonderland bangle bracelets. $7.99. $4.99. I'm sorry, the Magic fans are $7.99. And then here's a teacup uh, ring. That's the same one we just saw. Look at this little Moana card. $1.99 for the Moana cards. Actually got quite a few. Oh, Haunted Mansion. It's the Hatbox Ghost. That one's really cool. All Haunted Mansion, Haunted Mansion, Moana. Looks like that's pretty much in there. The different magic bands. I don't know this character. It's Marvel, but I don't know the character. Sorry about that one. Now here are the buttons. The buttons are all $1.99. It's Ariel and it's rose gold. Here's a cool little, oh, you found a little stitch pen. Is there a price on it? It lights up? $4.99. Oh yeah. And this one is Minnie Mouse, and it's $4.99. I love these stitch pens. How cool. What an interesting looking pen. How fun is that? Makes me want to start writing again. All right. Well, you guys just got to check out the warehouse. I hope y'all got to see a lot of cool stuff like we did. Yeah. Um, they, you know, they had more of that jewelry, which I think is awesomely priced. The earrings and then the earrings and necklace sets. Holly, help me remember what was new. The new, I like that it put the on hand uh, where it's separate. Oh, yeah. Separate in the... That was the, that's the greatest idea. They yeah. took a piece of furniture, don't know where it came from. You know what? One day when, when they're not, one day when they're not busy. Let me fix myself. One day when they're not busy, I'll ask them, where did this piece of furniture come from? Maybe it's like an old piece from the Magic Kingdom Emporium. Yeah, it looked like that. Like, it looks like, like something Kingdom. like that. Uh -huh. I wonder if that's something that they had in storage. Maybe there's a little history to it. But anyway, they filled this piece of furniture with the watches and the Alex and Anis and the charms and all that good stuff. Whereas before, Pandora's, yeah, whereas before everything was behind the register, they still have some stuff back there. But, um, you know, you always kind of... You can see the sample what you like. Exactly. So when you will go there, you Well, I mean, you know, when you're in the cash register paying, you sometimes feel like, you know, you don't want to bother them. If you just... You sometimes just want to look at the Alex and Anis. You're not necessarily going to buy, but you just want to see which ones are available or something. Yeah. Well, now they're all out on display in that cool little piece of furniture, which makes it super easy. Yeah, and how I understand that Anne and Alex Bracelet, they has uh, different prices. So if they you, did vary in price? Yeah, if you wanted to ask the price, they were, the cast member was asking which one. Ah, okay, want. so they did yeah. vary in price. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, so overall, like they had that new serving tray. You guys saw that? That was uh, really cool with Belle on it. It looked like a really, not, not I'm sorry, not Belle. <laughs> yeah, my character is good. Jasmine. With Jasmine, thank you, honey. Yeah, the new serving tray with Jasmine on it. And, um, you know, one, you know, let's just talk about something. One thing I know. Mm -hmm. Vineland doesn't have mugs. The mugs like before remember like they yeah. always had the mugs uh -huh. they like they're gone they're out or something they sold, sold out, out and they don't replace it maybe but if compared with uh, i drive i drive still has yeah if you guys are looking for like character mugs and stuff i drive is the one to go to right now because they hardly have any cups or mugs at vineland mm -hmm. now vineland was stock oh i know what i wanted to mention how could I forget this? Now, Vinyl was stocked very well with shirts. And speaking of the shirts, mm -hmm. my favorite, those artsy shirts from Disney style. Like I said in the video, I was told that they're all $4.99. Now, the tags still say $9.99, but I was told that they're $4.99. So if that's not a deal, yeah. I don't know what is. It seems they just uh, marked down because yeah, but, it's still on the, uh, the label was $9.99. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was still yeah. marked $9.99. So yeah. the system overnight must have just changed them over to $4.99. Yeah. Go get those. I'm telling you right now, for five bucks, I'd buy up every one of them. Yeah. I think it's absolutely worth it. You so, have. Yeah, well, I mean, I have them all, but I'm saying like I, sh yeah. I would buy up all of them or yep. something mm -hmm. so it's a, that's the deal of deal of deals if they're really $4.99. I was told they were. I didn't buy one tonight, but I was told they're $4.99. So I'm not going to 100% commit to that, but I was told they're $4.99. You guys, if you want to go get one, go get one for $4.99. Um, I like the artworks they have. Oh, this yeah. They the added all that uh -huh. new art, all the new cells yeah. and everything. And they're all, you know, were they $14.99, right? Or yeah. $14.99. $14.99, the biggest one, $19.99. Yeah. Yeah. So overall, it was, it, was a good, it was a good run. I don't know if we got anything or not. Did we pick up anything on it? Yeah. Okay, we did get something. I figured yeah. there was at least one want? item. All right, let's take a look at what we got. All right, how exciting. Why Susanna's digging through the bag? I'm going to have a little sip of cold water. It's going to take too long. <laughs> oh, wow. Nothing like a nice little sip of cold water. This oh, is the show yeah. that I like so much. I, I fell in love. We're 
very good. Yeah, I fell in love with the shirt when I saw it. I like anything tiki room, anything yeah. kind of classic and just, you know, it's got the little tiki gods on it and there's and a little drummer guy. Soft. It is. It's a soft sports gray. I like the material. I, I love the print. I was print. thinking this is like a women's shirt. Yeah, well, you know, they hung it on the women's side, but it's definitely, yeah. no, that's an adult, sh that's this, a unisex this shirt. This one we find from the men's side. Yeah. But they have in the women's side, smallest sizes. 100% this is a So it's a unisex. Jack, you just yeah. tell about, you guys know but this is what we do for a living. Hot. So it just, No, it's yeah. 100% it's a men's size. Now, here's the thing I will say. You could almost argue that the sleeves are a little bit feminine because they're not short. One thing you'll notice on t-shirts is usually a woman's shirt, the sleeves are a little bit shorter. And these are a little bit shorter, but 100% that's a man's XL. Mm -hmm. That's not a woman. This would be a woman's almost 3XL. If this yeah. was. Anyway, you know, you guys know how much I appreciate my shirts because it's what I do. And one thing I like about this one, let me back it up for the camera. Again, look at the size of the print. I mean, the entire shirt is printed on and for me i know it kind of sounds weird but as a t-shirt guy mm -hmm. i appreciate that like that's the whole shirt is printed on so either way i love enchanted tiki room it's one of my favorite all-time attractions at disney yeah. and i got a shirt to rock next time i go there yep very cool and this one was this one was a little more pricey than normal this was 12.99 normally 9.99 but this one was 12.99 and regular price 34.99 was this one 34.99 yeah. regularly okay i was hoping this one would scan for 4.99 at the register but it didn't yeah. so <laughs> either way i think i got a super cool shirt congratulations did we get anything else or that was it right that's it that was it that's well it. it's a shopping week anyway we didn't have to go crazy tonight speaking of it being a shopping week so i talked to the cast members and apparently something i didn't even realize not that i i should know this but i just didn't know that they're not closing for thanksgiving yeah character warehouse is open on thanksgiving day yeah opening i guess at the normal time in the morning is what i understand and it's not closing Thanksgiving night. It's going to stay open 24 hours. They're going to be open through the night, Thursday into Black Friday. Yeah. Now, I know I said I wanted to go over there for Black Friday, but now I'm concerned. Like, do I go in the morning on Friday? Or do I have to go at, like, midnight on Thursday night? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. What would you guys do? Like, I don't, are you shocked at this, too? I had no idea that the warehouse was even open for 24 hours, which is ridiculous. What would it be like to roll into the warehouse at like 3.30 in the morning? Just, hey, <laughs> I can guarantee you this, we could do one heck of a video in there probably at three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Now I could be wrong, but I would assume it's not that crowded at 3 a.m., but maybe it will be crowded. Uh, what, uh, how many people will be on that time if it will go? I don't know. I mean, it is an outlet mall, and I'm sure some of those other department stores will run some creative late night, early morning, uh, like you know, 2 a.m. sales or something. So there might actually be some people in there. Yeah. I don't know if Character Warehouse is doing any special sales or not. Who knows? Maybe, yeah. You made that good point that maybe Disney would just send some regular merchandise over yeah. there and discount it yeah. down. Haven't heard anything like that. Wouldn't that be a surprise? surprise. Yeah. So either way, I'm not gonna. We're gonna get over there at some point then between Thursday and Friday. I don't know when though yet. I really don't. I got to yeah. think about it. Still, they have some uh, items that they, uh, the uh, the park has the same time. What they have this time. I mean, we... Oh, just normally. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah know, a lot of times they bring recently that. Recently, yeah. we have seen that keychain. The Oh, yeah, the um, Kylo Ren Kylo lightsaber keychain. Key yeah. It's still at World of Disney. Yeah. Well, let me the back jersey, that. The uh, purple one I bought. The, the poor, purple... The poison, sports, sports, poison purple. Poison said. purple yeah. jersey. Okay, They're jersey. still selling a regular price in the park. Yeah. Oh, you know, we saw it today. We, yeah. we had to, because after uh, Character Warehouse, we had to run by... Uh, World of Disney. Disney. And also we went to the co-op at Disney Springs. And in the co-op, they still sell the Maleficent hat with the horns on it. Yeah. Or whatever, yeah, the horns. They still have that hat for at full price yeah. at co-op. So, yeah, I mean, you're right. Sometimes they do have regular theme park merchandise in there that has not been yeah. uh, fully pulled off the shelves of the parks and stuff yet. So, as for Baby Yoda, I know we've been discussing Baby Yoda a lot. Some shocking news came out today about Baby Yoda. He will no longer be on the show. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> his, his, uh, his agent is trying to renegotiate him a higher paying contract due to the success of Baby Yoda. No, I'm teasing. No, <laughs> though, Disney actually came out today on uh, uh, shopdisney.com, but I think it was on, I don't know if they announced it on the Disney blog, Parks blog or not, but they've, they're going to release some Yoda merchandise, if not already. 
And um, so if you go to shopdisney.com, you'll be able to find that Baby Yoda merchandise. I'm not going to lie. I went and checked it out and took a look at it. I don't know if you guys have looked at it yet. It's kind of corny, though. It's not very good merchandise. It's about the silliest, just like they took a picture of Baby Yoda, like a still from the TV show, and just planted it on a T-shirt, like a plain T-shirt. They planted it on a plain white mug and a plain white cell phone case. I'm not happy with that. So, but what I do understand is though, Baby Yoda plushes are coming. And I even think they're- Actually, you want the plush. I want the plush. And, uh, you, and I was even thinking about this though too. I think, well, let me, before I even say that. So the plush that's coming, I was reading something that it looks like they're gonna be selling uh, or doing a, um, what do you call it? Uh, Pre-order, sorry. They're going to be doing a pre-order for Baby Plush Yoda. So I'm keeping an eye out. If I hear anything or see something, I will definitely let you guys know. Um, what would be funny is that Galaxy's Edge, if they decided to actually have like, um, you know how Baby Yoda floats in his basket? Oh, yeah, yeah. If they have like a Baby Yoda like simulated floating, just like you have like the With Ray. The yeah, like, well, so just like you have like the other characters that walk around or whatever not vader or anybody but like they have like ray or whoever it'd be great though instead of like having ray walk around they have baby yoda yeah like just like floating through galaxies like some guy like said well you could have a guy who dresses the mandalorian in the costume mm -hmm. and actually though he could be controlling the baby yoda like yeah moving or something yeah. that's what disney to do disney you guys need to build like a little animatronic Floating Baby Yoda. I just watched some episodes of your Imagineering show on Disney Plus, and I know you guys can do it. If there's anyone that can build a floating Baby Yoda, it is the Disney Imagineering team. They can do it, so. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, but anyway, so I think I've rambled and talked and yet too much in this video. We really hope you guys enjoyed it. There goes that light. We really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we will be getting over there, I guess, for Black Friday or Thursday or something. We're gonna figure something out there. Either way, you guys click that notification alert. That way you'll be alerted when we upload that video. Um, anything else you wanna add, huh? I think that's it. All right, well then I'll just give the usual rundown. Join the Mouse Secrets Facebook group. So many of you guys have been coming and joining. The group's growing so fast. Mouse Secrets Facebook group. The link's in the description. Make sure to follow us on Instagram. That is something we're really gonna be pushing hard over the next few months going into the new year. Mm -hmm. Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. Especially with the changes coming to YouTube, it's a great way to keep up with us as well with Instagram. We're gonna be posting, updating videos and everything. We're gonna really start going over to Instagram as well. So make sure you're following us there. And I believe that's a wrap on this video. Guys, happy Thanksgiving to y'all. We hope you guys have a awesome, awesome day and relax a little bit, eat a lot, relax a little bit, eat a little bit more, take a nap, and then make sure you watch our Character Warehouse video that day too. Yeah. How's that sound? Sounds great. I think this is a wrap then? I think so. All right, guys. Take care. Have a good one. We'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> What's going on guys? It's Steve and I just want to take a few more seconds of your time to tell you about our website, mousesecrets.com. Your home for Disney Mansion shirts. Woo! Yeah, that's right. Like for your next Disney trip, if you want to have some really colorful, bright, fun t-shirts to wear at the Magic Kingdom and Epcot, then check out mousesecrets.com. Let's take a look at the website. I've got it pulled up right now. So you just come to our homepage, click on Disney World Vacation t-shirts, just like I'm doing right now. And it'll open up and you can see all the different designs we've got. We've got our castle tie-dyes, castle solid shirts, castle multicolors. We've even got a U.S. flag castle shirt, which I think is just super cool. We've got our raglan three-quarter sleeve shirts and all of our different designs listed. We even have Disney Cruise Line. But um, yeah, and now here's the cool thing. Our shirts are 10% off right now, so we are running a sale. And... And personalization is free. That's right, we'll personalize your shirts for no extra charge. We can add your name below the design. Uh, we can add your name to the back of the shirt across the upper back. Um, we can do a family name, like uh, Michael's Family Vacation or Johnson Family Vacation, How, whatever you would like to do. We can even do short phrases, you know, just married or celebrating an anniversary or something like that. Yes, we'll personalize a shirt and there's no charge for it. And it's very simple to do. All you do is pick the design that you like. So let's say, go with the red tie-dye like I'm wearing right now. So I would click on the castle tie-dye. That'll open up just like it did. You'll see that it's 10% off. 
Um, select the size you want. So let's say you go with an adult small. Select your color. You can see all the different colors we've got. We've got a magical blue, a frontier land orange, a small world yellow, a beastly green, cars land pink, and like what I'm wearing right now on the video, park hopping red. So you would select the park hopping red and the size. Okay, then you come down here to this box and you enter your personalization that you want to appear on the shirt. So let's say you want to put Steve. You want to put Steve. Uh, you would just type Steve right into that block. And you can even type beside it, Steve under, um, uh, put Steve front of shirt under design. Or Steve back of shirt. And that way we'll know where to add it. Also though, at checkout, there is a place where you can leave a note to the seller, which is us. And you can also type in that note to seller, please put the personalization on the back of the shirt, or please put the personalization um, underneath the design on the front of the shirt, and we'll get it taken care of for you. Um, or you don't have to have a personalization at all. A lot of people buy our shirts just as they are without personalizing them. But if you want to, you can, and there's no extra charge to do that. We're offering a special free personalization, and they're 10% off right now. Um, so yeah, super, super cool, bright, colorful shirts like I'm wearing right now in the video. Adds a little extra magic to your Disney vacation and to your photo pass pictures. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Thanks a lot. Bye.